This is a bookable summary of the book, Don't Take Yes for an Answer, by Steve Herz. Are you tired of seeing other people get promoted over you, or others landing the job you wanted? It's even more confusing if your manager repeatedly tells you that she's happy with your work. What's likely missing from your skill set are three tools that set you apart as a leader. These tools let you communicate effectively while building trust so you can sell yourself and your ideas to others. In this video, you'll learn techniques to demonstrate these three tools. Once you've mastered them, you'll be able to reach your full potential. 1. The impression you make on others is more important than your technical know-how. What do actress Lucille Ball, designer Ralph Lauren, and British King George VI have in common? Well. They all realized that something was preventing them from reaching their full potential. And, importantly, they took steps to overcome that obstacle so they could succeed. Whether it's fair or not, first impressions count. You can have the right education, credentials, and network, and still consistently miss out on that promotion you long for. If you're in this situation, your lack of progress probably has nothing to do with your technical skills and everything to do with the impression you make. According to research conducted by the Carnegie Foundation, when it comes to success, your ability to connect with others is 85% more important than your know-how. If you come across as timid, unconfident, aggressive, or flat, it won't matter how brilliant you are. You simply won't be viewed as a leader who can effectively engage with others. Similarly, if you don't know how to communicate your message effectively, people won't see the value in your ideas. Luckily, you can learn skills that will transform you into the most compelling person in the room using the AWE technique. The AWE technique combines authority, warmth, and energy to help you engage people from the moment they meet you. That way, you can create an authentic and compelling first impression. 2. Western culture is feedback averse. Ina was a senior executive for a mid-size organization. It was her job to make investment recommendations to the executive team, but her presentation skills were abysmal. Author Steve Herz was called in to coach her, but Ina wasn't committed to the process. No one had told her that her communication skills needed to improve, so she saw the training as a low priority. If management had been upfront, Ina may have taken their feedback seriously. Instead, she ended up losing her job without understanding why. Many of us live in cultures that believe we're not resilient enough to deal with rejection or constructive criticism. In America, this is the result of the self-esteem movement that happened in the late 1980s and 1990s. This well-intentioned promotion of self-esteem warped the meaning of excellence. Praise is no longer something you earn, it's something you expect. Like Gaina, this makes it difficult for you to identify areas where you need to improve if you want to advance in your career. This culture of overpraising begins in childhood. Kids receive accolades and prizes just for participating, irrespective of their performance. To leave mediocrity behind, you must accept that most people won't be honest with you about your performance. Take responsibility for your success by asking trusted colleagues direct questions about where you could improve, and, most importantly, be receptive to their responses. 3. Your voice is a tool you can use to embody authority. History is full of great leaders who know how to rouse the masses. These leaders' delivery styles vary, but they all understand that you can win people's trust when you communicate with clarity and confidence. And once you have their trust, you can influence them to follow you. The first tool in the AWE toolkit is authority. Authority positions you as a leader, someone people want to follow because they're inspired. To achieve this, pay attention to your voice. So, how do you use your voice to win people over? First, pay attention to pitch. Second, regulate your pace. If you are keen to persuade someone, there's a temptation to talk non-stop, but this will overwhelm your listener. To speak with authority, use crisp, succinct, and declarative sentences, and don't be afraid of silence. Finally, moderate your volume. You probably know from experience the loudest person in the room isn't necessarily the one people respect. Rather than speaking loudly, focus on articulating each word and make sure you complete each sentence without trailing off. And remember to vary your tone. 4. To convey authority, work on your presence. 
Steve Jobs is renowned for transforming a nearly insolvent Apple into one of the most successful global brands. Jobs had an authoritative presence, and he evoked it without ever wearing a suit. Jobs' air of authority didn't rely solely on his wardrobe. He also knew how to carry his body. From his commanding gait to his upright posture, Jobs presented himself as a leader. And this, combined with understanding of how to win people's trust and respect, elevated him to celebrity status. Your presence is the feeling you evoke in others. It's your vibe. This vibe needs to align with your audience and your objective, otherwise it won't be effective. Ward understands that projecting authority doesn't mean throwing your weight around. By creating a mood of reciprocity, rather than dominance, you create trust. Someone with true authority has the confidence to step back and let other people form their opinions. Don't undermine your sense of presence by laboring to convince others that your agenda is worthwhile. Give your audience space to decide for themselves. This way, you'll exude authority, whether you're in a job interview or pitching a campaign to a client. If you're learning something new in this video, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. 5. Without warmth, authority means nothing. Some time ago, the author was in his first year of running IF Management, a talent agency for news journalists. One day, an ambitious, young newscaster contacted him, looking for representation. But after the meeting, the author's colleague predicted they'd never hear from the newscaster again. And he was right, because he'd exhibited authority, but had shown no warmth, which meant he'd failed to connect with the newscaster. The second tool in the AWE toolkit is warmth. Warmth is the quality that allows you to form genuine connections with others. If you don't exude sincere warmth, people will close themselves off from your authority. In his meeting with the newscaster, the author had been so focused on talking himself up that he hadn't shown any understanding of the newscaster's ambitions. Warmth occurs when you take the time to find commonality with others. This doesn't mean you can't foster warmth with someone you don't have much in common with. Many managers feel uncomfortable practicing warmth, believing it'll undermine their authority. But that's not true. Authoritative leaders inspire their teams to work together towards a shared goal. This style of leadership fosters creativity and commitment and makes the staff feel valued. By using warmth, you can motivate people to rally around you and support your cause. 6. To create warmth, give your full attention to other people. NBC's Today Show weatherman, Al Roker, is the epitome of warmth. The author once shared office space with Roker in Manhattan's Fisk building. He noticed that Roker, who was already a household name, made him feel like the most important person in the room. This was not a special treatment, because Roker gave this kind of attention to everyone he met, making him universally loved. To build warmth, pay attention to your audience's reactions. Although moments of tension are inevitable, you can deflate them with warmth. Take note of your body language, too. Nothing dampens warmth more quickly than being half-absent. So stay present and focused on engaging with your audience. Warm people acknowledge others as fellow humans by practicing active listening. Active listening is the skill of paying attention to what someone else is saying without thinking about your response. This is an effective way to deepen connection and trust. Finally, your voice plays a big role in evoking warmth. Speaking too quickly, too loudly, or too high will kill off the warmth in your voice. So pay attention to how you sound. 7. Energy equals influence. Energy is the third tool in the AWE toolkit. It's the quality that sets AWE into motion. Authority earns you respect. Warmth wins you trust. Energy motivates people to follow you. Energy combines conviction in your message with enthusiasm. If you truly believe in what you're communicating, your audience will be more likely to agree with you. However, this can only happen if you are present, fully engaged, and genuine in your delivery. Emotional connection is what gives energy its power. Whether you're meeting someone in a lecture hall or at the store, show warmth by looking them in the eye, which forges a connection.
Once that connection is established, you can then motivate them to believe in your cause by making it relevant to them. Therefore, energy and warmth go hand in hand. A warm person without energy won't win people's confidence. 8. To use energy effectively, focus on the needs of others. Imagine you're about to give a speech to a large audience. As you nervously wait to be called on stage, thoughts about failure run through your head. The most powerful thing you can do to energize yourself is to focus on other people. Asking yourself what you can do for others immediately flips the script and it floods you with positive energy. Instead of being self-conscious, tell yourself that you're in a position to help others by sharing your knowledge or serving your community regardless of what you do. When you focus on others, you should also adjust your energy accordingly. Listen to the energy level of the voices around you and align your energy to them. Energized body language is also important. Use open hand gestures above waist level and let your emotions show on your face. Body language helps others understand us, which makes them feel comfortable, leading to a stronger sense of connection. Once they're drawn to you, you can use your AWE toolkit to share your vision with them. Thanks for watching. We hope this video provided valuable insight and information for you. In this book, Steve Herz talked about the importance of being authentic and true to yourself in your career. Which do you think is more important for success? Being true to yourself or being adaptable and able to change? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you learned something new in this video, click the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Until next time.